Coach Levi uh, mentioned something that I, I didn't mention that I, you guys need to be aware of. Every time you do this, okay, you need to be in your wrestling stance. You guys need to be in position, okay? Also, when you guys are clearing the wrist, we're not gonna do stuff like, oh, I cleared my wrist. Guess what, you just got open for a shot, okay? So I need to make sure that I mention to you guys that when we're hand fighting, when I'm clearing the wrist, I'm still gonna be in good position and I'm still gonna be uh, expecting a shot. I'm still gonna lower my level. I'm still gonna control him with my head right here. Okay, so when we clear now, he's not going anywhere. And another thing is, guys, if you clear it just here, that's fine, but see how I keep my elbow down, or my arm down, ready to sprawl, ready to down block, okay? We gotta make sure we develop those good habits. So make sure when we're drilling from now on, I want you to make it realistic, like it would be in a match. So I want you guys, everything we're drilling from now on should go without mentioning that. You should be in your wrestling stance, and you guys should be uh, imagining like you're wrestling out there live. Okay, imagine like, imagine yourself doing all this stuff tonight when you guys wrestle. Got it? This will help you a lot. Okay, questions on this so far? Pretty simple? Yeah? You guys like it? Yeah. All right. Next, elbow. How do we free your elbows? I get, you know, it's very frustrating when someone color ties you and they grab your elbow and they squeeze and you feel like you're blocked and you can't, you can't do anything. Okay, a few different ways. Yeah, he didn't have to turn, but that's okay. right. So, he can grab my elbow right here when I'm posting, when my arm is straight. Or he can grab my elbow right here when I collar tie, which is a lot tighter, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, when I post, first thing, I'm gonna stay in my wrestling stance. Okay, when he post, all I'm gonna do here is drop my arm. You see how it goes limp? Okay, <coughs> limp arm. This hand's gonna go across, and guess where I'm gonna push this? Turn. Where's the gap? Okay, so my arm goes limp, I grab this, and I free it. I push this across, I push his arm out, and I bring this arm in. And I'm back in a good position where he doesn't shoot. And I wanna control this, I don't just let it go, okay? If I win this battle, if I win this battle, I'm gonna hold this wrist because now I can take a shot. I can snap. You know, I can control him. I'm, I'm winning right here, okay? Again, post. I want you guys to post. He's gonna grab your elbow, your partner. We're gonna go limp arm, grab his wrist in front of my arm. Push, beat it, and stay in good position. Very simple, right? Okay. So I want you guys to do that, and next, we're gonna mix the two elbows. Next, if my elbow's here, and he's squeezing really tight, obviously I can't drop here, right? Because it's really tight. Okay, you go right here so you can see better. Yeah, I can't drop here, right? So, what we have to do here is, the only way we can go with this elbow is up, okay? And actually, look where the gap is. The gap is pointing up anyways, right? Okay, so we're gonna go that way. You see how easy that is? Hold it. Okay, put it in the stance, this is what it looks like. Now, one little detail, because I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, if you go up, he can shoot. You're right, he can shoot. So that's why here's what we can do. Grab my elbow. This hand is gonna go underneath and grab his wrist. You guys see that? And the rule is, four fingers are gonna be on the inside. The thumb's gonna be on the outside. Right here, you guys see that? See where my thumb is? On the outside. We're not gonna go here. We're gonna go here, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, we're here, we grab the wrist, and we go up. And no, he doesn't have anything anymore. You guys see that? One more time, squeeze. And this arm goes up and back down, ready to wrestle, okay? Now, who knows why I do it with the thumb on the outside instead of the inside? Anybody have any guesses? Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that? He can't turn his wrist as well as that one. Okay. I have a little different reasoning, but that's good, yeah? Yeah, but you grip this way and then this way. Yeah, yes. The reason I do it that way, guys, is because if I grab here with four fingers on the inside and I free it, now we have the same thing. Grab my hand. You see how we have the same thing? And I'm not necessarily winning here. Yeah, I got free, but I'm not winning, okay? If I go the other way, now look at this. I have an angle. If 
For those of you that do two on ones, this will be perfect. Okay. For those of you that just don't want to do two on ones but want to shoot, this is also perfect. Okay. I got an angle on him, which is exactly what we want to get. That's why I do it that way. That's my reasoning. Okay. We're down. I call her tight. I go thumb on the outside, beat it, and now we're here. You guys got it? Okay, first one. Post, he grabs your elbow, limp arm, go in front, beat it, and I'm in good position. Number two, collar tie, he squeezes, four fingers on the inside, I grab his wrist, beat it, and back in good position. Questions? You guys ready to do it? Alright, let's do it. One, two.